with the advent of oxygen hitting the planet billions of years ago, we needed a strategy to help deal with oxygen metabolism because oxygen that, you know, odorless, tasteless, invisible, mysterious, paradoxical element oxygen it needs to be regulated. And so the regulation of oxygen is via the carbonic anhydrase enzyme, which is a zinc dependent enzyme that makes your carbonic acid. So big picture, every time that we produce ATP, which is basically taking a glucose molecule, going through 22 steps to make your ATP. So that ATP is the universal currency that runs every cell of every living organism on planet Earth. So it is the universal currency, that ATP. So the byproduct of making ATP is carbon dioxide, CO2. CO2 is a very strong acid. You just can't dump it into the blood or you will alter the pH. Remember, pH, the potential of hydrogen, is the basis of all medicine, is regulated via the pH of the potential of hydrogen. And so the pH of blood is between 7.35 and 7.45. That blood pH cannot waver, not one iota, or you're dead. So we have the great acid-base balancing system so we don't become too acidic or too alkaline. And this is happening via carbonic acid. So we take the CO2 that we produce as a result of, you know, oxidative phosphorylation and producing that ATP, that CO2 diffuses into the blood. So inevitably it gets into the blood, but immediately in the blood plasma is mostly water. So it's going to react with water via the carbonic anhydrase zinc dependent enzyme to make carbonic acid. So what we're doing, we're taking a strong acid, carbon dioxide, turning it into a lesser acid. And as a lesser acid, this carbonic acid can now be dealt with. All right, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So this carbonic acid will either be broken down to a bicarb and a hydrogen, or it will be broken down to a water and a CO2, depending on which organ it's you know, being dealt with. So we see this carbonic acid when it goes to the kidneys, it's going to be disassociated into a bicarb and a hydrogen ion. That is your acid base balance. That is why zinc is an alkaline mineral. This is making all your fluids in your body. Whatever fluid it is making, it's putting the fluid in the right pH, whether it's synovial fluid, cerebral spinal fluid, menstrual fluid, seminal fluids, digestive juices fluids, salivary fluids, tear fluids, every fluid, sweat fluids, all are dependent on the pH via this enzyme via zinc. So every fluid in us is a result of that bicarbonate system. So this is how important zinc is. So when we so just always keep in the back of your mind, zinc is the alkaline mineral to deal with the production of hydrogens. So hydrogen, like we said, is a proton, is an acid. So as a result of generating energy, we produce the acids and we need to understand how to control the acids. So when we're dealing with a sugar, we're dealing with 12 hydrogens. So, so understanding how important this mechanism is, is critical. Now the Carbonic acid can be dealt with in the lungs where it will be disassociated into a water and a carbon dioxide that we breathe out as a CO2 gas, as a water vapor. Beautiful. That's how we deal with it. When this carbonic acid, you know, carbonic acid can go to a red blood cell, can go to the pancreas, can go to the lungs, the stomach, the kidneys. So the body has an intelligent way of dealing with the breakdown of glucose. Now, this carbonic acid, when it goes to the stomach, the stomach via the enzyme carbonic anhydrase will disassociate into a bicarb and a hydrogen ion. And this is what we're going to look at in making your stomach acid. 
This is a amazing, you know, biochemical process that is very interesting. So just remember, if this reaction can go this way, the reaction can go the other way. And so the, the, the basic byproduct of this will either be CO2 in water or bicarb in a hydrogen ion. That's kind of the take home message, but just conceptualize of how many CO2 molecules you are producing of every day of every single minute. You're producing gazillions of molecules of CO2. This is why we need to understand the status of zinc in the body. Because we don't have zinc stores like we do for calcium and magnesium. You know, we don't have the stores in the bones. Zinc, we, we lose 85% of our zinc just daily through digestion. So this is why understanding our need for zinc will give us a deeper appreciation for this spiritual warrior mineral, always protecting you, always fighting for you, always defending you. That is zinc. It is that spiritual warrior. It is one of the most amazing alkaline minerals that we have. So I just wanted to talk about this ancient enzyme, carbonic acid, how we deal with the strong acid, CO2 converting into a lesser acid, carbonic acid, and how it's going to be processed through different organ systems in the body.